In this assignment, we are going to be factoring quadratic trinomials. Okay, and let's just talk about what this means. Okay, we'll start from the back. Trinomials means three terms. Okay, so we're going to be looking at uh, things that have three terms. Remember that quadratic means a degree of two, so my highest exponent is going to be two. And remember factoring, okay, factors are where I'm looking like what multiplies to this. So I'm going to be looking at quadratic trinomials and asking myself, hmm, how could I make this into a multiplication problem? So remember quadratic trinomials uh, look something like this, right? Like uh, x squared plus uh, 6x plus 5. That's a quadratic trinomial. Now there's, there's also quadratic trinomials that say like have like 3x squared plus 10x minus 17, something like that. Um, we're going to see in this assignment, we're really going to be focusing on ones that just have that 1x squared in the beginning. Okay, this actually turns out to make it way, way harder. Um, and we're going to get there probably next week, maybe into this week. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go through levels, all right? So this first one is called level 1. Okay, I'm going to call it level 1. And the reason that it's level 1 is because it's positives only. Okay, but the rules stay the same. So the rules don't change on level 2 and 3 uh, or 4 or any time, but uh, it's just nice to kind of address things one, one piece at a time. Okay, so here's what we know so far. We already know what I'm looking for when I'm factoring something like this based on our observations of multiplication, that if I want to multiply and get this, what I need to come up with is two numbers that multiply to 10. Look, I can use this, the multiplication dot or the multiplication sign, but I need two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 7. Multiply to 10 and add to 7. Now, the easiest way to do this is to think of what are the numbers that multiply to 10. And what you can do when you're listing multiples, sometimes it'll just pop into your head. Sometimes you'll be like, hmm, two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 7, and it'll pop into your head. Cool. If it doesn't, what you can do is just start at 1, right? Oh, we start at 1. 1 times what is 10? 10. 2. 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5. Does 3 multiply to 10? No. Does 4 multiply to 10? No. Does 5 multiply to 10? Oh, already done. Okay, right? Once you get to a number you've already seen, then you're set. And what you can do is you can use your multiplication chart, okay? You can use the one in your, in your notebook or... Uh, your extra, right? Here's mine. You can use your multiplication chart uh, as needed, right? So like if I was thinking, oh, does 3 multiply to 10? No, it doesn't, right? Does 2 multiply to 10? Yes, it does. 2 times 5, right? So just make use of your resources as needed. So, but right now, remember what I'm looking for. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 7. So I'm looking, oh, does 1 plus 10 equal 7? No. Does 2 times 5 equal 7? I'm sorry, 2 plus 5 equal 7? Sure does. So then those are my two numbers, x plus 2 times x plus 5. It could have been 5 here and 2 here. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then look, let me just, I'm going to check my answer, and the way that I'm going to check my answer is by multiplying, right? So I'm going to do x times x, that's x squared. x times 5, that's 5x. 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times 5, that's 10. I combine my like terms, I get x squared plus 7x plus 10, and sure enough, that is the correct answer. All right, let's do another one. Okay, this one's a little trickier. Why is it trickier? Because 24 has a lot of factors, okay? But that's okay, we just start with one times 24. And you can go by as you go, right? Like I can say, I can go one times 24, two times, but three times, but I can list all the factors or I can check each one. One times 24, okay, that equals 24. Is one plus 24, 14? No. Two times 12, that equals 24. Is two plus 12, 14? Yes, and I'm done, right? Now that saves you the work of going, oh, it's three times eight and it's four times six. Okay, so you can kind of check as you go, that's fine. All right, but here I said, okay, it's 2 and 12. Look, I can put the 12 first, I can put the 2 first, it doesn't matter. Okay, when I multiply this out, right, if I want to check it, when I multiply this out, x times x is x squared, plus 2x, plus 12x, plus 24. And then, of course, these will add and become 14. So I'm all set, and that is the correct answer. All right, let's do one more. I'm not even going to check this one. Look, x squared plus 6x plus 5. Two numbers that multiply to 5, there's only one possibility, 1 times 5. Is 1 plus 5 6? Yep. All set. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's your turn to try. <laughs> 